and I decided to do my sculpture and my presentation on Tara Donovan. So, Tara Donovan is a sculpture, painter, whatever you can think of in the art world. She was born in 1969 in Queens, New York. Um, she is the middle child of three siblings, and she received her BFA at the Corcoran College of Art and Design in 1991, which is in Washington, D.C., and her MFA from Virginia Commonwealth University. So, she began her career by showing her art at the Whitney Biennial, a contemporary art show in New York City. <clears throat> so after this, she served as a waitress at a uh, restaurant in New York City, and then finally she was approached by Doug Christmas and asked to show her art in the Ace Gallery in LA. This meeting was actually a breakthrough show for Donovan that led her to more opportunities and shows in and outside of New York City. Her first solo exhibition was held in 1998. So her art style. Um, she's known for her site-specific artwork that creates forms using small objects. So a lot of her work, <clears throat> I mean, she does um, drawings too. Um, but she, her main thing is sculpture and it's using tiny, tiny objects that um, she creates big forms of art using them. Um, a few materials she has used in the past are scotch tape, toothpicks, shaved down pencils, and styrofoam cups. She is very well known around the world and won the Calder Prize in 2005. Now the Calder Prize is awarded biannually to honor a living artist who has completed exemplary and innovative early work and who has demonstrated the potential to make a major contribution to the field that was taken directly off their website. So, this is one piece of work that she did. This was actually made using slinkies, and as you can see in the video, it is very big, and this is made on site, and it is well, very well known. The second one is made using straight pins. And this is a perfect square, and it is 39 inches tall, 39 inches wide, and 39 inches deep. Finally, um, this is the last picture I will show, and it is all made of little shaved down pencils. Um, so it is four inches tall and 136 inches wide. As you can see, there's so many little pencils that must have been used to make this giant piece of art.